interested in mobile veterinary clinics, uh, do you know, do you want to know how they work and operate? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to show you just that on this video. So we get this cable and connect it here. And that, what that's going to do is it's going to charge these two batteries here. So these are two 12 volt batteries that are in series. So this electricity is gonna charge these two batteries and then these two house batteries will power the appliances inside of the, of the truck. Another source of power is this generator. So what this generator does is sucks gasoline from the gas tank and it also powers the, the appliances. It, this one is much more powerful than this one. So if you wanna run your AC or a, other appliances that take a lot of energy, you need to run this device. And now we're gonna connect it to uh, the electricity. Here in this uh, RV park, we have the 20 amps and it's not very powerful. In other places you do have the 30 amp or 50 amp. And if you have those, then you can run your AC and you can pretty much run everything. But I have the problem that at 20 amps, if I power anything, it triggers the, the, what is that called? The fuse. The fuse, yes. Triggers the, the, what is that called? The fuse. The fuse, yes. Well, I, I hope at least there's one view when it's Valerie. <laughs> so here we have the 20 amp, 120 volts. It goes to the truck and uh, it's gonna charge these house batteries. So next time we go out, what I do is uh, I use these house battery to power a cooler. And then uh, I might use also the, the shaver. I might use the vacuum, things like that. Small appliances is, is, is not a problem. But once I turn on the AC or I need the, the surgical lights and all that, then I turn on the generator. And uh, stay tuned for more content.